Hey everybody, it's Keegan here. I'm back with another video for you guys. And for today's video, I'm showing you guys some VHSs and DVDs that I'm going to be getting rid of as of Saturday, June 15th, 2024. And today I got 12 VHSs and two DVDs that I'm going to be getting rid of. And before we actually get started, I'd like to say a few things about the VHSs I'm going to be getting rid of. Now, to be honest, I don't really use my VHS player a lot. I use it sometimes, but not a whole lot. And uh, most of the VHSs that you're going to see are ones I'm mostly going to be upgrading to either DVD, Blu-ray, or 4K Blu-rays. And, uh, yeah, just getting rid of these just to make up some space and stuff. Uh, I'm sure you get it. But anyways, let's not waste any more time, and let's just uh, let's get started. Starting with the VHSs. This one I'm getting rid of. I'm going to upgrade to Blu-ray or 4K Blu-ray. Although, I will get this back if it's in better condition and has a print date. Specifically, a much later print date if there exists such a tape. I'm not sure though. No print date or weakened year code on this tape. Although... It is a little bit damaged at the start of the tape. But and that's all right. So, uh, yeah. Forrest Gump. It's a great movie still, but I'm just going to upgrade it to Blu-ray or 4K Blu-ray. Although, I might get it back on VHS if it's in better condition and has a, a later print date of some sort. Anyways, moving on. This one I'm probably just going to upgrade to DVD or Blu-ray. We'll see. Blockbuster date is July 9th, 2002. Fox, 20th Century Fox Movie Corporation of Regency Enterprises. Hold on a sec. Uh, I think that says... Hold on. Uh, actually, there we go. January 22nd, 2002, and yes, I'm using this little UV light to uh, read the print dates. I actually got this off a pen that was like invisible ink. The pen broke a while ago, but I kept the lead, I mean the the top for it anyways, for the light, because uh, these lights are cool to me. So uh, yeah, I'll be using these to show off the print dates, if they're invisible ink, that is. This one I'm just going to upgrade to DVD or Blu-ray. I think there's a Blu-ray for this one. I'm not sure though, but I'm pretty sure there is. Seventeen week of nine ninety This one I'm going to upgrade either to the Criterion Blu-ray or the Criterion 4K Blu-ray, which is actually going to be coming out at the end of the month. Or I think it's already out, actually. I'm not sure. But I'm just going to be upgrading it to either the Criterion Blu-ray or 4K Blu-ray. But Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas is still a great movie. It's a pretty weird movie, too. And this is the Canadian copy. Co-produced with Rhino films although that the rhino films logo is not shown until the end of the movie it's got a sticker label and it's not recycled from anything well at least i don't think it is tape 10 out of 10 next up ghost world much like fear and loathing in las vegas i'm gonna upgrade this one to the uh to the criterion blu-ray Although, Ghost World's a great movie. I watched it for the first time last year, and yeah, I enjoyed it. It's a funny movie, and I one I do recommend checking out if you haven't seen it. United Artists movie co-produced with Granda Film, and the blockbuster date is July 22nd, 2002. And this was actually the very first VHS tape that I bought back in 2021. Blockbuster date is January 3rd, 2002. 
This one I'm going to upgrade either to the Criterion Blu-ray or the Kino Lober 4K Blu-ray. And as most of you guys know, I watched this movie for the very first time at one of my local theaters uh, very recently. And this movie was a masterpiece. So, yeah. This is an Orion Films movie. Well, Orion Pictures is what it's called. December 6th, 1999. This one I'm just going to upgrade to the uh, 4K Blu-ray because this one finally got a 4K Blu-ray release a little while ago. I actually still haven't watched this movie yet. I know it's considered a classic, but I still haven't seen it yet. But, yeah. I'll definitely give it a watch when I get it on 4K. No print date or weekend year code on this tape. This one I'm just going to upgrade to Blu-ray. And I actually watched this movie for the first time a couple months ago and I really enjoyed it. It's a pretty good western movie. Well, pretty great actually. And it was the best picture winner... At the uh, uh, 1993 Oscars, this movie came out in 92. Two print dates, June 10th and June 11th, 1993. And it's got a sticker label. Don't think it's recycled from anything, though. Next up, Driving Miss Daisy. This one I'm just going to get rid of. I actually watched this movie a little while ago. Eh, it was okay. It wasn't the best. It wasn't anything great or anything, but it was it was fine. But I definitely agree. This one did not deserve winning Best Picture back at the 1990 Oscars. I personally think Do the Right Thing should have won. But somehow, I don't think that movie even got any Oscar nominations for anything, which is kind of bullshit, but whatever. Again, Driving Miss Daisy, eh, it's, it's okay. I'm just, just going to get rid of this tape. Probably never going to watch this movie again anyways, but uh, it was alright. Hold on a sec. March 14th, 1994. Three more tapes, and then we'll be on to the two DVDs. This one I'm going to upgrade either to DVD or Blu-ray, and this is the 2002 movie. I will get the 1997 Swedish film on Criterion Blu-ray at some point. Warner Brothers movie, Copers with Alcon Entertainment. September 19, 2002. This one I'm just getting rid of. It doesn't look interesting to me. I don't even know why I bought it. But, yeah. It's a little dusty up there. 1973 film. Oh, there we go. 44th week of 1993. And now onto the last tape for this uh, video. Fatal Attraction. This one I'm going to get rid of. I'm going to upgrade to Blu-ray. I actually watched this movie for the first time last year, and I thought it was pretty good, and I enjoyed it. Michael Douglas and Glenn Close are both really good in this movie. No print date or weekend year code on this tape. And those are the VHS tapes. And now onto the two DVDs that I'm going to be getting rid of. Starting with Garden State. This one I'm just going to get rid of. I watched this movie back in August of last year. Eh, it was okay. It wasn't the best, but eh, it was alright. I just wasn't a fan of it. 
probably not something I'm ever going to watch again, so therefore I'm just going to get rid of it. Fox Searchlight Pictures movie co-produced with uh, Miramax Films. As of this coupon, which uh, this was valid from December 21st, 2004 to March 31st, 2005. Has an ad for Napoleon Dynamite, Garden State, and Pauly Shore is dead, which I do plan to get uh, Napoleon Dynamite back either on DVD or on Blu-ray. Because I'd like to give that movie another chance. I wasn't a fan of it when I first watched it a long time ago. But I'll definitely get that one back. And now onto the last DVD that I'm going to be getting rid of. The Real Cancun. This one just does not interest me. I don't even know why the hell I even bought this one in the first place. But yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to get rid of it. New Line Cinema movie co-produced with Film Engine and... Bun and Murray Productions. Blockbuster date is September 1st, 2003. And that's that. And that's the video. Leave a like, comment below, subscribe, turn on notifications, and share the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Peace out. Bye-bye.